Ask My Instructor 3.4.30. Find dy dx for this function. This function is a quotient, and for that reason, we will use the quotient rule. There are a couple of different ways to write the quotient rule. The one seen here in your screen is identical to the one found in your textbook. Do the setup. and check your work. I have g times the derivative of f minus f times the derivative of g all over g squared. Find the derivative of 5 sine x and find the derivative of 7 minus 3 sine x. The derivative of 5 sine x is 5 cosine x. The derivative of 7 minus 3x is negative 3 cosine x. In the numerator, you have some multiplication to do. When I distribute the 5 cosine x, I get 35 cosine x minus 15 sine x cosine x. When I multiply 5 sine x and negative 3 cosine x, I get negative 15 sine x cosine x. Next, Let's deal with the double negative. Subtracting a negative means you add. Combine like terms. Negative 15 sine x cosine x plus positive 15 sine x cosine x is equal to zero and I'm left with 35 cosine x in the numerator. Notice that I have done nothing with the denominator. That is on purpose. Leave the denominator alone. And we have successfully found that for this function y, the derivative is 35 cosine x all over the quantity 7 minus 3x quantity squared. Take care. Have a great day.